here we go up into the vault of comics hey guys it's me brian also known as gamma boy 71 in here in the vault of comics so on instagram i was tagged to mention some of the best arcs in a comic book series, run, story, whatever you want to say. And it was a pretty crazy question, especially talking to a geek. I mean, how can you just pick a couple stories out of all of these boxes? Recently, I've been filing, little by little, trying to put all of my comics away. So I picked a couple of... Uh, Key players, which I thought were probably some of the best stories, story arcs I've ever read as far as the influence on me. I've been collecting a very long time, probably since about fourth grade. I've always been into comics, superheroes, Godzilla, classic monsters, all that stuff has always surrounded me pretty much my entire life as a child. My cousins, my friends, they're all into it, Star Wars, sci-fi, horror not until a little later, but I mean, it's, you know, it's basically sculpted my life. So, about junior high, I was full into it, collecting hardcore. I was there for the birth of Image. Like, I, I've been around, I've seen it. I really follow characters and artists. Writers, I will follow depending what the topic is, but it's really based on... Um, like I said, the characters and artists. Now, just to pick five of my probably top favorite books as a child, being a Hulk lover, it doesn't get any better than this. Planet Hulk. Amazing. He goes to a planet. He's basically as strong as everyone else. In fact, a little weaker. In the beginning, I really didn't care for it. It was just too off the beaten path, but I liked it because it was different, and we got off a run of Hulk that was just kind of not really impressive to me, the art wasn't that good, this was gritty, it was really popping, it changed the Hulk, it kind of put him back on the map, I had a lot of friends asking me, like, oh, what's going on in the Hulk, I know you collect Hulk, what's happening in that book, I hear it's really good, Greg Pak really definitely changed the game, I will collect Hulk, I have every single issue, and I will continue to collect Hulk thick and thin, no matter what, but this was a real refreshing little offbeat kind of story, and it led into even amazing stories as far as World War Hulk, when he came back, pissed off that he was sent into space in the first place, killing everyone and destroying everything, locked up, Red Hulk came out, it was just an amazing splash of books. Also, this little ditty. As a young child, we didn't have the movies and the cartoons that you guys have now. So pretty much, this was the end-all, be-all book, Secret Wars. This series was just uh, amazing. It didn't get any better. You took all the best heroes, all the best villains, you put them on a battle planet, and they had a fight. It just, it, it just rocked, rocked the world. Also, like I said, when I was there for the birth of Image, this little guy here. Spawn. It was amazing. Tom McFarlane had an amazing run on Hulk, really jam-packed, had a great run when he was on Spider-Man, got his own Spider-Man title, and then went, and all the hottest artists from Marvel left and created their own company, Image Comics. And to have all these hot artists doing their own characters, which they really cared about, which they had backstories on in years and years and years. These are from all their portfolios when they were in college. And it was just amazing. Every issue was, like, better than the last and gave more secrets and it told you all the stories. And your friends would flip out and, like, oh, my God, what happened? What, what's, what's going on? What's going on? Oh, man. Spawn 7 is crazy. This is an angel and she's killing spawns. That's what she does. But you, you, you can't read it. You can't read it. It makes no sense until you read this one. You can't, you know, so it was just amazing. I remember the first time this came out, I actually went to my room. Didn't even open it. Didn't even look at it. Picked it up from the comic shop. Went to my room. Turned down the lights. Had my little desk lamp on. Flipped it page by page. Had the Nightbreed soundtrack on to give the ambiance. Uh, I, was, I was going crazy. A a absolute, absolute amazing. Another really good one, this one here. Uh, 
as my little off B pick, Witchfinder. The first arc was amazing. Amazing. In the service of angels. It was probably a Hellboy-ish book. I mean, Mike McNola wrote it. It, it was it was creepy, it was spooky. The art was good. It was just a totally offbeat kind of, you know, 19 oldies, spooky monster creature, dark closet. Pretty, pretty freaking good. Another one that just can't be beat, this boy right here. Now, of course, Batman has a lot of amazing, amazing stories. Frank Miller, Dark Knight changed them. You know, but this one, it was just Jeff Loeb with Jim Lee's art. It was just a movie in itself. Every issue was like, bam, 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 bam. I, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't get enough. I ran to the shop. I picked out the best covers. They were flying off the shelves. And as it went, it was even more crazier. It introduced Jason Todd as being back alive. And, of course, that went to the whole Red Hood. And when that came out, that was amazing. It was just... But Nana's in pajamas. So I got to say, those are probably some of my best hits. If you haven't read any of these books, definitely get them. I mean, they're all in graphic novel. Well worth it. I mean, I've read them again and again and again, several times over. Just really good books. I mean, just, those characters you can't be beat. Just awesome, awesome books. So check it out. That's my little tutorial. I know it's been a while. I just wanted to slap that out. My next thing is probably going to be on toys coming out from Age of Ultron. It's just there's so much coming out. Some of it's out in February. Some of it's coming out later on. Legos is coming out with a lot of stuff. So it's going to be amazing. Till then, keep collecting. Gamma Boy, yo!